the first five minutes you're bored and you're thinking, I can't, I'm not going to be able to sit here for another five minutes. And before you know it, you're there for two hours, three hours, and it's riveting. It's unbelievable. Who would have thought to do that? Who was the artist that did the LACMA lights? Chris? Yeah. So oh, he, oh, he oh, did that. that. Burden. He, yeah, Chris Burton. Chris Burton. Yeah. Right, Burton, right. Yeah, Chris I Burton. I love him. I love him. Right, Chris Burton. So I would he, have never expected that to be as iconographic and as popular as it is. He did something that somehow captured the imagination of people and transcended it being, one, a spectacle, and two, a work of art. It's something beyond that. Because on some level, it's like a bunch of lights? What's the big deal with that? And on another level, it's, I mean, it's not art. What is it? Well, it's a place people like to go to. Well, that's like a ride at Coney Island. What's the difference? Uh, you know, I don't know, but art sometimes uh, connects to people in ways that we don't really anticipate or, or understand. There's just something about art that, I don't know, you just, it, like, like Duchamp's uh, urinal. You know, he puts this urinal in a room in a museum and um, it's done. You, you could copy that and do something, you know, put something else in there that would be so ridiculous. But he did it. It's done. He put a urinal in an arm machine. It's very famous. So painters and sculptors, and filmmakers, they do something and sometimes you can't, you can't, you can analyze it all you want, but it, there's an area that's unexplainable. And I love the light thing. That, I mean, it's, I love to see people there. Uh, I remember there was a, uh, what was it? It wasn't a blackout, but it was something. And it was, it was the only thing in the area that was lit. And people were just having so much fun there. So, uh, you know, it's weird. It's just, have you, have you seen the car thing? The cars? I haven't been to LACMA in a little bit. Oh, I don't know if the cars are still there. Oh. Uh, did you see the film with the guy with the time, with the clock? It was called The Clock. Mm -hmm. And it exactly went with the time on clocks. And it was a 24-hour film. Didn't see that one. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, it, uh, it was an experience. I, 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 went, I was in Paris a year later, and it was being held in Paris at the time. But it's just a series of shots from movies that have a clock in them, a time. And as you watch it, the time on the clock is exactly what time it is over a 24-hour period. So it begins in the morning and, and it ends at midnight. Um, you know, it begins at, well, it begins at midnight, but then it ends at midnight. Uh, the first five minutes you're bored and you're thinking, I can't, I'm not going to be able to sit here for another five minutes. And before you know it, you're there for two hours, three hours, and it's riveting. It's unbelievable. Who would have thought to do that? It's called a clock. The I clock. mean, it's, okay. it's a, in the beginning, you couldn't see it all 24 hours because you could only see it during the hours that the museum was open. So if the museum opened at nine in the morning and it closed at eight at night, uh, at eight at night, uh, they would say, okay, folks, you got to leave. Or you'd get there at eight in the morning, you could see it from eight, but you, you would never get to see what happened after eight or after midnight, you know. You, but then the closing, so I had gone several times and saw two or three hours of it at different times. And then they said they were going to show all 24 hours at the museum the last day. And I was there for the whole 24 hours. Oh, wow. And at the end, there were, I would say, a quarter of the theater were people who'd been there the whole time. And when it was over with, we all stood up and cheered and were hugging each other like, you made it. And it was one of those transcendent experiences. I've never forgotten it. And it's utterly ridiculous. I mean, who would want to watch that? Every, every scene was two seconds, five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. 
and it was a clock. It could be someone looked at their wristwatch, could be a grandfather clock, clock in a train station, just scenes that had no connection at all. How could you watch five hours of that? It became mesmerizing. It was unbelievable. I, I tell you, one of, the, one of the most amazing things I ever saw. What year was this? 2000-something, early, maybe 20 years ago. Something like that. Yeah. So it was at LACMA. Oh, okay. But I, I don't know if, when they'll show it again, but if they will, people will go to, you know. It toured all over the world. Mm. So, but your question was about, uh, you know, when an artist creates something, you, you, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to catch people's imagination. I don't even know why we all stood up and cheered and, and we're hugging each other at the end. Maybe because we had been there for 24 hours and maybe because we were able to endure it. I don't know what it was, but it was a feeling of, of exaltation. It was amazing. I, I, I've never experienced that before. Because when, when I saw it normally, you would just walk out at some point. Or if you were there like at six o'clock at night, at eight o'clock the guy would come in and go, okay folks, we have to close it down, the museum is closing. So there was no, like, experience. Um, but for that, there was. It was amazing. Did you stay up the full 24 hours? Th that was the la when it did the last show, they specifically said it was going to be 24 hours. Before, it was at the museum. You could only see it during the museum hours. Consequently, you were only seeing, like, if the museum opened at 9, the first image you saw was 9 o'clock. And as the day wore on, it would be 10, 1, 3, 5. You could stay from 9 to 8, but you, you'd still miss a lot. And I never did stay more than four hours. So when I went, I would stay three, maybe four hours. And I'd go with friends, and we would get loaded or something and, and watch it or something. But that last night, when it was going to be 24 hours, I, made, I planned to be there for the whole thing. Um, I think there was one point where I knew I had seen that twice, uh, an hour. I'd seen it twice, and I left and got myself something to eat, and then I came back. And my seat got taken, so I had to stand against the wall, but then eventually someone left, and I sat down. It was amazing. Read about it. The clock. Check it out. Google it.